Hi Capricorn, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to give you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of June the 15th to June the 22nd. I want to thank you again Capricorn for tuning into my videos and my channel. It's your loyalty and interest in these that will continue to keep me coming out every day and I truly give thanks for that. We start your week, Capricorn, with an air card. And this particular air card is the King of Air. And there may be somebody around you right now who has the personality traits of this king who takes care of his court. He's brilliant, he's impartial, he's professional, and he can be very diplomatic. This card speaks of you, you, you speaking your own mind now about an issue with confidence. <clears throat> and you need to seek out professional advice to help you do this right now. They talk about you balancing and taking into consideration your emotional and your mental <clears throat> balance right now when you're dealing with this. But they say that you will speak your mind with confidence. <clears throat> Excuse me. On Tuesday, you've been given a water card and this is a beautiful water card. This is the three of water and this particular water card speaks of a celebration. A celebration, a wedding, um, a graduation, and perhaps uh, a birth announcement. And they're saying that you are going to be given an invitation to go to one of those, and you're going to have fun there. On Wednesday, you've been given the Knight of Water. And this Knight of Water is, again, a wonderful card. And this particular knight is emotional, he's romantic, he's enthusiastic, and he can be contemplative. And he may be that significant other that you have right now in your life or he's coming into you. But this says it speaks of falling in love or getting a wedding proposal, some of you. It is also a need to balance your emotions right now. This is one of the most, it, one of the most important and profound things you're ever going to do, <clears throat> and it's very life-changing, is getting married. Also, it can be an invitation to that type of social event if you are not the one who is actually getting engaged or the one who is getting married. On Thursday, you've been given a major card. And this major card is the life experience card. And it tells me that some of you have, uh, have experienced a, a real life event, <clears throat> a significant life event, a powerful revelation, <clears throat> excuse me, that can lead to tremendous change in your life. And it's, um, it's a wake-up call for some of you to make these life changes. And you realize now that action has taken place and a moment of freedom and awakening is now coming into you. It speaks of you following your heart's desire and your own intuition because time's running out and these are rapid changes coming into you right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Friday, two of fire. Um, this speaks of some of you that have already come into your own right now. And there, you may be signing contracts and or dealing with partnerships in your life right now. But know that you're, you're, moving, you're moving forward and you're going to continue to move in this direction forward. Another major card, the world. The world is a great card. It's a job well done. It's joy that's coming into you right now. It's contentment and it's gratitude all together. Um, and you're on the path towards enlightenment right now. It's perfection. You have made accomplishments. So you need to commend yourself for these things that you've been doing. Some of you may actually, <coughs> excuse me, be receiving an award. Some of you may, may be moving to a new house. Some of you may be getting a new job. Some of you may be getting a new position within your new job. You need to feel freedom for a job well done, my friend. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. The Chariot. Again, another major card. And again, this is an important achievement they talk about for some of you. It's a big congratulatory achievement. You successfully balanced a recent challenging situation in your life right now. And you need to sit back and smile about that. Some of you may even be getting public recognition for what you've done. Um, and, and you've done this all because of your own self-discipline and your own sheer willpower. You've taken this great leap of forward and uh, hey enjoy this also speaks of travel for some of you and many different modes of travel that perhaps have to do with your job <clears throat> the end of the week I did pull that one card and it's ironic this card came up in another uh, another uh, reading for uh, another 
uh, zodiac sign today. So this must be quite a, an important card for a lot of people. This card is listen. So it's basically listening to the signs that come into you. Your guides send us messages all the time. When you've, you've wished for something, you've prayed for something, you've asked the universe for something, then in return you have to sit in the quiet and listen for these signs to come into you and so you can get these answers. I will read this card. Quiet your mind, beloved one. <clears throat> and listen to their gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in the exact nature of your desires manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request for you. Listen. Listen to the universe, my friends. I hope that this reading has brought you some benefit and some insight into your week. And I do have a website, and my website is www.brendatarot.info. I leave you again with another quote this week. And this quote has been great. It's been so appropriate for all the weekly readings I've been doing. And it is. Sometimes life closes doors because it's time to move forward. And that's a good thing because we often won't move unless circumstances force us to. I hope you have a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to, Capricorn. And I will again see you next week. I want you to know I will continue to stand in the circle of light for you.